The email customizer add-on enables you to customize the booking and payment email layouts, designs, and content. You can also add dynamic content and personalize the email to create a lasting impression for your brand. Hello and welcome back to WP Travel Engine YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to install and configure Email Customizer add-on. Please note, Email Customizer requires WP Travel Engine plugin version 5.7.6 or later installed and activated on your website. First, you'll have to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. First, you'll have to install and activate the plugin. For that, navigate to Plugins, click on Add New, click on Upload Plugin, click on Choose File. Now select the zip file of your email customizer add-on that you downloaded. Click on Open. Click on Install Now. The plugin has now been installed successfully. Now, click on Activate Plugin. The Email Customizer add-on has now been successfully installed and activated. Next up, you'll have to activate the plugin license. To do that, navigate to WB Travel Engine, select Plugin License, inside of Email Customizer box, you'll have to copy and paste your plugin license key. Your license key looks something like this, after which, You'll have to click on Save Changes. You will see a message as such, which means you'll have to click on the Activate License button. And after you click on the Activate License button, your license key will be activated. Now that this is completed, once again, from WB Travel Engine, Click on Email Customizer from the menu. And here you will find all of the settings related to email. Please note, with the Email Customizer add-on, you can customize the default email templates for booking and payment notification only. First of all, you have to select either booking or payment template to customize. So let's select booking first of all. Now we will move on to the template and let's explore all of the aspects that can be customized. First is the layouts. The default email template is divided into three sections, the header, the body, and the footer. You can change the layout of each section by dragging and dropping the blocks. Let me show you how to do it. So from the top left corner, click on this add icon. Now you can select one of the blocks. You can drag and drop it to your template. Let's see what you can add. Okay, how about site logo? You can select any one of them. Like you can select heading, paragraph, table, list, image, cover, columns, site logo, everything that is displayed here. For the demonstration purpose, I'm going to select site logo. But before I drag and drop, let's see where I want to add it. Okay, let's add it right after the header. So I'm just simply going to drag it and I'm going to drop it right after the header. You will see that the logo has been added. And this is the same logo that is added to my travel website. If I open my site in the new tab in the front end, you will see that this is the same logo. Let's go back. 
Now the site logo appears a lot smaller. Let's increase the size a little bit. So first of all, you have to select the logo by clicking on it. Just increase the image width from the right hand side. Slide the button over to increase the width and you have to slide it under to decrease the width. Now, apart from that, if you want to change the alignment, you have to click on the align option here and select align center. After which the logo will be aligned to the center. Like so, you can add images and company's logo to personalize your email template. Next up, you can also change the color of different sections. So let's say you want to change the color of the header here. Simply click on header and on your right hand side, you will see the options for color. You can change the color for text and background. So all you have to do to change the color is you have to click inside of the small circle here. Now click on custom. Now just slide this button. Over and under. Just find the perfect color for you. You can also make use of another slider here so that you are able to find the perfect shade of your choice. If you have a hex value, you can also add the hex value here. You can also select HSL and add HSLA values. You can also select RGB and add RGBA color values here. So whatever color you select will be applied over here. Simply select what color suits the best for your email template and you can go along with that. Now if you want the color of the header and the footer to be the same, what you can do is Again, click on header, click on background, click on custom and to copy the hex value, you can simply click on this copy icon and the hex value will be copied. Scroll down, click on footer and just scroll up a little bit. Here is the option for the background color. Click into the color option, click on custom. Remove the hex value that is already here and we will paste the value that we just copied. This will change the background color which will match the footer of the email template to the header. Apart from that, you also have the option for typography. So you just have to click here and you can just change the size. To make changes to the body section, you have to do the same. Simply click anywhere within the body section and then you can make changes from the right hand side. Next are the placeholders. You have the option to add dynamic placeholders like customer names, booking details, payment information and other relevant data for personalized content. Dynamic placeholders are used to add dynamic content to your email templates. If you are wondering what placeholders are, all the information that are listed within the curly brackets are placeholders. There are a number of placeholders available in WP Travel Engine, such as the trip URL, the buyer's first name, the buyer's full name first and last, the buyer's email address, the buyer's billing address, the buyer's city, the buyer's country, the starting date of the trip, the trip booking date, the total number of travelers, the total number of child travelers, and so on. All of these available placeholders are listed in the text documentation of email customizer add-on. I have added the link to the text documentation in the description box below. 
Now, after you are done, you have to click on save and you can instantly preview your customized email in a new screen by clicking on the preview button. Just click on preview and here you will be able to preview your email template. Now it is the same for when you select payment notification. From here, simply select payment notification and the process of customizing the payment notification template is exactly the same. If you have any questions regarding this, please let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. Let's switch back to booking notification template. Lastly, we have enable this template option. You can toggle on this option to send your personalized email to your customers. So all you have to do is simply enable the toggle and this will allow you to send personalized emails to your customers or you can simply keep it disabled. Please note, if you choose to disable the template, you will still have the option to customize and save the template as per your preference. However, your changes will not be applied to the email. Instead, the system will revert to the default email layout. Please make sure to click on the save button so that you save all of the changes that you have made. So that was it. If you have any questions or confusions, please do let me know in the comment section below or you can directly reach out to our support team with the help of the link I have added in the description box below. If you are liking our videos so far, please give us a like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in our next video.